Philippine English is any variety of English similar and related to English native to the Philippines, including those used by the media and the vast majority of educated Filipinos. English is taught in schools as one of the two official languages of the country, the other being Filipino Tagalog. Code switching is prevalent in informal situations. Orthography and grammar Philippine laws and court decisions, with extremely rare exceptions, are written solely in English. English is also used in higher education, religious affairs, print and broadcast media, and business. Most educated Filipinos are bilinguals and speak English as one of their languages. For highly technical subjects such as nursing, medicine, computing and calculus, English is the preferred medium for textbooks, communication, etc. Very few would prefer highly technical books in the vernacular. Movies and TV shows in English are usually not dubbed in most cable channels except a few such as Tagalized Movie Channel, because English is part of the curricula from primary to secondary education. Many Filipinos write and speak in fluent Philippine English, although there might be differences in diction and pronunciation. Most schools in the Philippines, however, are staffed by teachers who are speakers of Philippine English and hence notable differences from the American English from which it was derived are observable. Philippine English traditionally follows American English spelling and grammar, except when it comes to punctuation as well as date notations. For example, a comma almost never precedes the final item in an enumeration much like the AP Stylebook and other style guides used in the English-speaking world. Except for some very fluent speakers like news anchors, even in English language media, dates are also often read with a cardinal instead of an ordinal number, e.g., January 1, instead of January 1st, even if the written form is the same. This is mostly because educated Filipinos were taught to count English numbers cardinally, thus it carried over to their style of reading dates. In military style or sometimes officially's date notation e.g. the 1st of January the American standard is mostly followed that is 1 January Tautologies like redundancy and pleonasm are common despite the emphasis on brevity and simplicity in making sentences they are common to many speakers especially among the older generations the possible explanation is that the English language teachers who came to the Philippines were taught old fashioned grammar, thus, they spread that style to the students they served. Examples are, at this point in time, and will be the one, or will be the one who will, instead of now and will, respectively, e.g. I will be the one who will go rather than I will go topic <laughs> phonology topic Philippine English is a rhotic accent due to heavy American English influence contrary to most commonwealth English variants spoken in neighboring countries such as Malaysia or Singapore the only exception to this rule is the word Marlboro, which is frequently read as Malboro. Therefore, R phonemes are pronounced in all positions. Native and well educated speakers may also feature flapping and vowel sounds resembling the California vowel shift due to the influence of Hollywood movies and call center culture. For non native speakers, Philippine English phonological features are heavily dependent on the speaker's mother tongue, although foreign languages such as Spanish also influenced many Filipinos on the way of pronouncing English words. This is why approximations are very common and so are hypercorrections. The most distinguishable feature is the lack of fricative consonants, particularly, f, v, and, z. Another feature is the general absence of the schwa, and therefore pronounced by its respective full equivalent vowel although the r-colored variant, is increasingly popular in recent years. Consonants <coughs> 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 The following consonant changes apply for most non-native speakers of the language. The rhotic consonant r may vary between a trill r, a flap, and an approximant. The English approximant is pronounced by many speakers in the final letters of the word or before consonants, while the standard dialect prefers to pronounce the approximant in all positions of r. The fricatives f and v are approximated into the stop consonants p and b, respectively. 
th stopping the consonants theta and becomes t and d respectively this can be also observed from speakers of Hiberno-English dialects and a number of American English speakers. Yod coalescence, like most Commonwealth English variants, the DJ, TJ, and SJ clusters becomes into D and respectively. This makes the words do, tune, and pharmaceutical are pronounced as and parm utical, respectively. For some cases, the use of yod coalescence is another case of approximation for aspirated consonants which Philippine languages lack in general in words such as 12. The fricative may be devoiced into in words such as measure or affricated into d in words such as beige. The z phoneme is devoiced into an s. This also includes intervocalic s, which is usually pronounced as a z in most other accents of English. Older speakers tend to add an i or e sound to the cluster street due to Spanish influence, so the word star and lipstick sounds like i, e, star and lipstick respectively. Like most non-native speakers of English elsewhere, the dark l is merged into the usual light l equivalent. Topic: <laughs> Vowels. Topic: Vowels in Philippine English are pronounced according to the letter they symbolize, so that a, e, i, o, u are generally pronounced as a, i, o, u, respectively. The schwa, which has various interpretations in English, is somewhat rare in Philippine languages and usually exists in minority languages such as Kinaray or the Abagatan dialect of Ilocano. The following are the various approximations of the schwa. Words that end in la that succeeds a consonant such as Google are generally pronounced with an l, except for words that end ple, fle or ble apple, waffle and humble, which are pronounced with an ol. The in words such as knowledge or college, it is pronounced as a diphthong e, making it rhyme with age. The r-colored vowel may be pronounced as an r commander, ir circle or an or doctor, usually by non-native speakers outside urban areas or the elderly. The a pronunciations a are pronounced as central vowels a and in the standard dialect, the open front a may be pronounced as a variant of the near open a. The phoneme may be merged or replaced by the longer i for some speakers. The words peel and pill might sound the same. The may be pronounced as an o color or an. The u sound from the digraph ku may be dropped before e and i in some words such as conquest and liquidity. Other features Non-standard emphasis or stress is common. For example, the words ceremony and Arabic are pronounced on the second syllable as another result of Spanish influence. The words mentioned above are pronounced as s -moni and a -abic respectively. Non-native pronunciation Topic Monolingual Filipino language speakers often have non-standard pronunciations. A number of other indigenous languages employ phonemes such as f, v, and z. This form of mispronunciation, caused by the limited sound inventories of most Philippine languages compared to English, which has more than 40 phonemes, is generally frowned upon by Anglophone Filipinos, in particular, and businesses dealing with international clients. Some examples of non-native pronunciation include Ari equals Ari, Filipino equals Pilipino, Victor equals Victor, family equals Pimili or Pamili, varnish equals Barney's fun equals Pn or Pan, vehicle equals Bickle or Beacle, lover equals Elber, find equals Pand, official equals O Pies L or O Pill, very equals Bree or Berry, Gaidon equals Idon, hamburger equals Hamburger, high tech equals Hatke, hubcap equals Hobcap, margarine equals equals Mr. Rin Seattle equals Esatel Shaco equals Esaco or Ako Daniel Danielle equals Dengel or Dangel February equals FP Eb Wari or FP Eb Rari Janice equals Da Nis January equals Dan Wari Rachel Rochelle equals Real Stephen Stephen and Stevens Stevenson equals I Stephen or I Stipen. The ph digraph has an f sound rather than a v. Even in standard Philippine English, special some speakers equals i spiel or spiel rhymes with spatial twenty one two etc. Many speakers equals twenty editor in senator predator equals eater by analogy with eight. Topic history. Topic Philippine English has evolved tremendously from where it began decades ago. 
Some decades before English was officially introduced, if not arguably forced, to the Philippines, the nation had been subject to Spanish rule and thus Spanish was the language of power and influence. However, in 1898, when the Spanish gave the United States control of the nation, the English language, although initially disfavored, became widely used in a matter of years. This was catalyzed by the coming of American teachers called Thomasites Bolton and Bautista, 2004. Before gaining independence, language policy makers had already started discussing formation of a common language for the Philippines that today is known as Filipino. Filipino became the national language, and English was given the status of an official language of the Philippines. English is the dominant superstrait language, as it is perceived by many as a symbol of status and power, replacing Spanish as the dominant superstate language. With the English language highly embedded in Philippine society, it was only a matter of time before the language was indigenized to the point that it became differentiated from English varieties found in the United States, United Kingdom, or elsewhere. This, along with the formal introduction of the World Englishes we framework to English language scholars in the Philippines by renowned linguist Braj B. Kachru, which occurred at a conference in Manila, opened the floodgates to research on this new emerging English, which has since been branded as Philippine English. Topic industries based on English topic The abundant supply of English speakers and competitive labor costs have enabled the Philippines to become a choice destination for foreign companies wishing to establish call centers and other outsourcing. English proficiency sustains a major call center industry and in 2005, America Online has 1,000 people in what used to be the U.S. Air Force's Clark Air Base in Angeles City answering 90% of their global email inquiries. Citibank does its global ATM programming in the country, and Procter & Gamble has over 400 employees in Makati, a central Manila neighborhood, doing back office work for their Asian operations including finance, accounting, human resources and payments processing. An influx of foreign students, principally from South Korea, has also led to growth in the number of English language learning centers, especially in Metro Manila, Baguio City, Metro Cebu, and Metro Bacolod. Recently, the Spanish Ministry for External Affairs and the Japanese government decided to hire speakers of the Philippine English as language assistants for their own respective nations. Topic see also topic International English English as a second or foreign language formal written English list of dialects of the English language list of English words of Philippine origin regional accents of English speakers special English Philippine literature in English list of loanwords in Tagalog Inglog Kanyo English English Tagalog code switching based on English Taglish Tagalog English code switching based on Tagalog Hokagalish Hokkien and Tagalog English contact language in the Philippines topic references topic topic Further reading topic Akar, A. Models, Norms and Goals for English as an International Language Pedagogy and Task-Based Language Teaching and Learning, The Asian EFL Journal, Vol. 8. Issue 3, Article 9, 2006. Manarpak, Danilo. When I was a child I spoke as a child, reflecting on the limits of a nationalist language policy. In, Christian Mayer. The Politics of English as a World Language, New Horizons in Postcolonial Cultural Studies. Rodopi, 2003 cited the 18th of February 2011 ISBN 9789042008762 p 479 to 492 Lerner Ted Hey Joe a slice of the city an American in Manila Book of Dreams Verlag Germany 1999 Topic external links topic The language planning situation in the Philippines, by Andrew Gonzalez, FSC, with sections on Philippine English Philippine English, by Tom MacArthur. English proficiency in Cebu American or Philippine English, video